So what do you get when you mix a falcon, a deer, fennel fox, and a horse all together? Well, that's what I'm going to find out in today's video. Hey everybody and welcome back to Art Cart. I decided to take these four random animals and mash them together and see what kind of creature I can create. I intended this video to be a really quick, easy one to get out and I ended up spending a lot more time on this than I anticipated. First step is the design. I picked out four different animals. I wanted to use the deer, more of a fawn, I guess, fawn head for the head of my creature. I wanted to obviously give it some wings. I don't know that I really made it falcon wings. I it really these wings, I guess, could be anything. They're just the generic bird wing. Um, and then I wanted to give it the fennec fox ears, those just giant, really cool ears, and probably the fennec feet. I decided to bump up the deer features a little bit more by giving it some antlers and changing the front legs from being paws into being hooves. The sketching and designing of a creature creation is probably one of my favorite parts because you just get to go really crazy and wild, but I wanted to make a finished piece or at least a, a line art that you guys could enjoy as well. So it moved on to the inking process, which takes forever. Anytime you have wings, or should I be specific and say feathers, it takes a long time. Add to it a very long tail, flowing tail with lots of tendrils and tufts of fur everywhere. The inking process was by far really long. <laughs> I added a few extra details. I added some flowers around there and a nice background and printed it off to do a test coloring. I tend to get really detailed in my line art. I love just seeing how tiny I can make the lines and things, but then when it comes to the coloring part, that can be brutal. So I printed this out on a half sheet because I wanted to make like a greeting card with it, but it was so small. And if you've worked with Copic markers, you know that if you, there's a high chance that unless you have really good control that you're ink is going to bleed out a little bit or feather out a little bit, which if you have a thicker line art, that can help you navigate that. But this was extremely thin line art, so it was a bit of a challenge. I ended up coloring this digitally as well, uh, changing up the color schemes a little bit. Um, if you're interested in seeing how that looks, let me know in the comment section below. I'll post some pictures of that on my social media. Different color scheme going on there. If you would like a chance to color this, you can head over to my Patreon page. I have put this up for the coloring page of July, so you can enjoy that for all of my patrons over there. Anyway, thank you for enjoying this crazy video. Uh, I would love to see what your creature would be. And let's challenge each other to some creature creations. <laughs> so until next time, God bless you guys. Keep being creative and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.